Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature that's new to TPC Desktop 2017R2, where Traverse PC reads and writes projection files when it reads and write, writes shape files. So here we've got um, a shape file that we imported, and I want you to see that the coordinates as we look at move the cursor around are 2 million some in the X, and it looks like 9 million some in the, the Y. We take a look at our survey and take a look at the coordinate reference system. We see that we're NAD 83, that's the datum we're using, and uh, we're doing state plane coordinates in the Texas Central Zone. So those values would make sense uh, in that particular projection. So let's walk through the steps. I'll start by opening a uh, new file called Import Shapes. And we can import shapes into the survey, in which case we get points and traverses or into a drawing, in which case we get points and polylines. So let's import it into the drawing here. Now the great thing about uh, supporting projection files is that there are no other settings to select when we import. Traverse PC instead is going to go into the folder where we're going to get the file, and it's going to look for a projection file. So let's take a look at all the files here. And in this group of um, underscore LN shape files, of course we have the index and database and shape, there's also a projection file. So let's just edit that and take a look at it. And we can see that here's that GOGCS tag. Uh, that tells Traverse BC that what's actually stored in these shapes are latitude and longitude, or geographic positions, not coordinates. So Traverse BC is going to convert those based on whatever information is in this projection file and, as need be, the uh, coordinate reference system for the survey. So in this particular case, where all we get is latitude and longitude, Traverse BC is going to import those, hold the latitude and longitude positions, and also uh, it's going to then convert or transform uh, those into coordinates for us. So let's go ahead and uh, tell it again just to see the shape files. Let's bring this shape file in and let's import it. Traverse BC does a couple of neat things here, and I want to just look at the uh, uh, details. One, it told us it's a geodetic coordinate system. So we're going to use geodetic or geographic kind of interchangeably. And then it tells us that here are the extents for the geodetic positions. And we see that obviously these are west longitudes and north latitudes. Uh, then it converts or transforms those points into coordinates and it gives us the coordinate extents. So we've got some positive feedback that yes, these were geographic positions and yes, I transformed those into coordinate positions. Now all these, the, this data that we brought into a drawing since drawings don't retain geodetic positions or drawing elements don't, got converted to coordinates. And we're actually looking then at the coordinate values. And these coordinates uh, match up with the grid that we're using for the survey, so our survey data comes in right over the top of it. So sneak peek at the using projection files or shape files in Traverse PC.